Breaking news, Nigerians. This is a very sad news. Really very sad. Unknown gunmen kill intending couple one week to wedding in Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. Their wedding was slated for Wednesday, January 18, 2023. Honestly, my people, this matter don't come off for Joko. What is really going on in the Southeast region? This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. There is fire on the mountain. An intending couple identified as Mba Ifoma Gloria and Tochuku Martin have been killed by yet to be identified gunmen at Arizogo area of Imo State. Their wedding was slated for Wednesday, January 18, 2023. Residents of the community say the doe were in a tricycle when they were attacked by the gunmen who killed all three passengers inside the tricycle. The incident reportedly occurred on Wednesday evening. According to the residents, the unknown gunmen specialize in stealing flashy cars and killing their owners. Imo and other southeast states have witnessed increasing and regular attacks on security agencies and facilities. Government institutions and high-profile individuals in, re in recent times. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who slid and Namdekano is in detention, has been linked to the deadly attacks in the region, but the group has repeatedly denied its involvement in the attacks. Recently, a female lieutenant of the Nigerian Army, P.P. Johnson, was adopted by unknown gunmen in Imo State. A video shows the female officer being tortured by gunmen after she was adopted while visiting her grandmother in Akwokigwe community. She was just confirmed with the rank of lieutenant in the Nigerian Army. She passed out on December 17th after being commissioned from the district short service course, a military source had said she was kidnapped at her home in Ibu. She traveled home for the Christmas celebration. In the clip obtained by Sahara reporters, one of the unknown gunmen was heard threatening to kill the officer for being a member of the Nigerian army. He also warned youths against joining the military and other security agencies. The officer was stripped naked and her hands and legs were tied. She was seated on the ground in a bushy area. May Almighty God bring the wicked and their generations to judgment. How can people destroy the lives of others and expect to, to enjoy their own children? Everything we do so others shall return to us sooner or later. That is how God created it. Bad news has become the order of the day in this country. There is no day we wake up, we don't hear bad news. How bandits kill, Boko Haram kill, uh, unknown gunmen kill, Fulani herdsmen are killing. Nigerian army, they are not, they are not, they are not uh, exempted from this. And the, the, the Nigerian president was telling Nigerians yesterday that he has fulfilled all the promise he made to Nigerians. And one will be wondering what kind of promise did President Muhammad Buhari make to Nigerians that he has fulfilled. Nigerian, Nigeria was not like this. He never met Nigeria this way. At least we had peace in the regions. But today there is no peace anywhere in Nigeria. And we are telling us, you are telling us that uh, you have fulfilled all the promises you've made to Nigeria as your turn, you know, is, is running out. This is a very bad news. Though. My heart bleeds. These are couples. All their dreams, they killed it. They killed them. All the good dreams they, 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 they had. On Wednesday, they should have, you know, we gotten married. 
but today they have killed them. Emo State. Governor Hope Uzadema. This is your state. When you look at what is going on in the Southeast region, this Emo State is the epicenter of this unknown gunman. Why? Before Nigeria we good. In Gohado. Even this one when they, then they shout, Peter will be Peter will be good. Peter will be among all the presidential candidates. At least. He's the only person you can say, Oh, let's go with him. But let me tell you, even with Peter will be, these people will still frustrate, frustrate government for him. They know what they are doing. They have an agenda. You understand? Nigeria can never be good. Nigeria had never been one. We have been pretending all this way. One Nigeria, one Nigeria. Until President Mama Dubuari came. I now have to spell it for us. You understand? Nigeria had never been divided like this. I always ask this question. Who are these unknown gunmen? With the, with, with the level of uh, Nigerian army, DSS, Nigerian police, in uh, Imo state in the southeast region, these these unknown gunmen they are still unknown. Today they go tell us say they don't kill one. Others they don't carry gun gun uh, gun wound enter bush they don't run and that will be the end of the story. Who are these unknown gunmen? Who are these people? Whether you are a northern now, you are a southern now, you are this and this. We are one before the eyes of God. Why should we be killing ourselves? Life you cannot give, you are taking it. Why? These people, they have cut their life short. Young couple that is just about to begin their life. What will you gain for doing this? This is a very sad news, honestly. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you. Mm -hmm.